The goal for all of us is to have great readers in our Nebraska children. Nebraska senators are looking at how Lincoln Public Schools measure up to other districts. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Two state lawmakers toured local elementary schools this morning. That's right. As part of a new study examining dyslexia and reading literacy, Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Miner joins us now with more in tonight's top story. Rachel. That's right, Rod. Sen senators Panzing Brooks and Linehan visited three Lincoln elementary schools to learn about their literacy programs. We were there while they toured Randolph Elementary. Can you find another word you know? Nebraska State Senators Patty Panzing Brooks and Luann Linehan toured Randolph Elementary in Lincoln Wednesday morning. Their visit was part of a statewide project to look at dyslexia and reading literacy in classrooms. It's part of a study that was proposed by Senator Panzing Brooks. While touring the school, they looked for a few key items. There's training going on of teachers, and that's part of what we've been looking at, is training of teachers and any intervention that might be necessary for any kids that are truly struggling with reading and with dyslexia. Nebraska is one of 11 states that do not have legislation requiring screening for dyslexia and reading literacy. Both senators hope to change that. For Senator Linehan, Lincoln Public Schools stood out. Every school is not at the same place. LPS is, I would say, ahead of the curve. They've got phonics um, interspersed in all their reading programs. Phonics is a reading program where students learn letters and sounds and how to recognize and pronounce them, along with how different letters go together to make different sounds. LPS focuses a lot on first through third graders as it's a critical time for reading development. Jane Stavum, the superintendent for instruction in the district, says they make sure all schools teach the same material. And part of our goal is to reduce variability, so we have what's called a guaranteed and viable curriculum, meaning every student has a quality experience in our classrooms. Both senators were glad to see LPS has such strong reading and diagnostic programs and hopes other districts across the state follow suit. The goal for all of us is to have great readers in our Nebraska children. Senator Panzing Brooks will compile a report of her findings from across the state in hopes to eventually get legislation in place. But parents should be happy to know LPS is ahead of the curve in their reading and dyslexia programs. All right, Rachel Miner from the newsroom, thank you.